Hey, this is Evan Woodbury with Go Vols Extra and the Knoxville News Sentinel, and I'm joined by Ben Fredrickson for today's edition of GVX Spotlight. And we're here at Neyland Stadium, uh, where Tennessee just two days ago completed its uh, big upset, uh, its first win against a ranked opponent in 20 tries, and uh, what Tennessee hopes will be a program-changing win. And Ben, this was actually your first game <laughs> covering Tennessee. You just joined us uh, within the last couple days. What was your impression of, of seeing the first game? Yeah, well, I guess I picked the right one to show up for. Uh, it was uh, certainly certainly impressive. You know, I know, you know, coming in, Tennessee had played tough against Georgia. And I think it was really what I was interested to see was if they could carry that momentum over, you know, especially after after a bye week. And it was it was, uh, it was was interesting to see that they, they, they picked up right where they left off. And especially, you know, when it came down to it, uh, that kind of late game situation that they were able to, you know, make the plays that they weren't able to make against Georgia. So I think that obviously is a sign of growth and, and certainly a signature win for the Vols. One of the things Butch Jones said this week in his press conference is that uh, while the, the win against South Carolina was huge, a lot of the, the positive confidence started back in that Georgia game. But, but as he said in this clip, we're going to see once the Alabama game starts, all this past stuff doesn't matter. Well, I know this. You know, everything that occurred last week is not going to help us win this week. You know, what we've done, that's in the past. You know, it's time to move on. And you have to rely on your maturity and your leadership. But our players understand now what's at stake. You know, if anything, you know, it's how do you handle success? You know, does it drive you to want more? Do you want to continue to get better and better and better? Or do you become complacent? And that's just one win. That's win four. One of the other things that Butch Jones stressed a lot this week is special teams. And Michael Pilardi has been at the forefront of that. Uh, Butch Jones talked a lot about how he's he's a tough coach for special teams guys, uh, not just linemen. He goes after the kickers too. Yeah, it was interesting to hear uh, Pilardi talk, and I, you know, you know, he's a guy who who's had some adversity over the years. So it seems like he's certainly enjoying his moment in the in the spotlight today. He fielded a lot of questions, has been making his rounds with the media. But uh, you know, he, one of the things that he said is he knew when coming in that Butch was going to be hard on him, and that was something that he found out right away. So it was interesting to hear him talk about how he's adapted to that, and now also how he kind of looks forward to it a little bit. Well, when, when Coach Jones came in here, I found early that you really have to have thick skin because no matter what position you play, offense, defense, special teams, he will be in your ear. And he will consistently be in your ear. He always says to me consistency and performance. Um, he's always yelling at me, even if it's, you know, he doesn't do it because he's angry. He's do, he does it to look out for the best of us. And one of the things I thought that was interesting that Butch said, and we'll see it in this clip coming up, is that, all the focus has been on Justin Worley, but he said a big part of Worley's improved performance has been improved performance by the other 10 guys on the field, including the receivers. And here's what Butch had to say about that. And I think, you know, everyone wants to point towards the quarterback position, but I've said it is the quarterback is only one out of 11. You know, there's 10 other individuals on the field, and I think what you're seeing is the players around him are performing better. So now the focus going forward is on number one Alabama. Tennessee's a 28-point underdog. Uh, obviously, this would be an upset beyond the proportions of the South Carolina game or the Georgia game. This would be a, a huge national upset, uh, and Tennessee has its work cut out for it. You can follow all our coverage throughout the week on Go Vols Extra. And if you have any questions for us, we'll be taking that on double coverage later in the week, uh, which is our review of social media through the week. If you have any questions about the Alabama or Tennessee game, just get in contact with us through Twitter. He's at Ben Fred. I'm at Tennessee Beat. And we're here with Go Vols Extra. Thanks for watching.